Got my photo Sitting on my car Got my phone You know she love the kids Snapping the picture The way she be moving the love What's up, what's up, y'all? I know y'all ain't seen me in a minute, but your girl is back for the time being. I've been having some stuff going on that's good in my life. You know, uh, planning a family reunion cruise, ready and excited to go on that. You know, so I can sign them mother papers <laughs> you know i gotta be a petty bit over here but to run, yeah since you know my uh divorce was filed on a saturday <laughs> and from where i'm from no courts are open on saturdays boo but um wow People are worried about what type of papers I'm going to be signing. They need to be worried about them damn selves. But anyway, I don't get that too much attention. But, of course, we're talking about the number one breeder. The H-B-I-C, as Adrian called her, the head breeder in charge. So we're going to get into a few of these videos and, of course, watch the neglect that she give her peoples. I'm going to try to do a live today. Um, right now, I'm sitting here chilling, recording this video while I'm cooking. So, you know, I'm that bitch that go around hollering at my grown 20 year old son and my 16 year old daughter get y'all at in here and eat you know how it is <laughs> but anyway i digress uh yeah let's go ahead and get on get into this video child people show sure got a whole lot to say when it comes to your life People got a lot of lies to tell when it comes to your life. Matter of fact, y'all wish me a happy anniversary. Me and my spouse today on this day got married 20 years ago. And I am so proud to say that we have made it thus far. I am so proud of him. I am so proud of my children. My son, he is thriving in college. My baby, she's doing very well in high school. And I'm just so proud of my family. And I feel like we're very blessed. So... But I do want to send a message to somebody that wants to involve themselves in my life and tell lies. Now, look, I don't care if you want to talk about my life. That's cool. But first and foremost, talk about what you know. Don't make them no lies on me. And come on now. Come on. <laughs> the compulsive liar is going to talk about me getting a divorce? Come on. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. But yeah, I got I got one video I want to play in honor of that person. Hold up. Let me let me pull that up. Let me pull that up. Let me go to my channel. Hold up. Uh, yeah, here we go. And then we're going to get on with the video we came to watch. And that's on Miss Independent Nika. 
and her and her children that she's neglecting, basically. <clears throat> Let's go to this video here. Let me go ahead and share my screen, and then we can get started. Let's see. Share screen. We're going to go to my own channel, y'all. And I just have one message. Just one. Ready? Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Why you gotta lie so much? You must wake up and just make up stuff. Cause I just, just do, do not understand, understand why. why. Every time you talk, you tell a quick lie. You and your lies gotta go. Because I'm tired of talking to Pinocchio. Think you had a nerd look folks in, in the, the eyes. eyes. No, no, you can't tell them lies. lies. You can tell them lies. lies. I asked you about it. Did you lie about it? Yeah. I asked you about it. Yeah. Did you lie about it? Yeah. Get the lies together. They all over the place. I bet if Jesus came back, you would lie to his face. saw that video i had to post it but anyway i'm just being petty right now y'all you know i gotta i got so much petty dance but anyway let's get to the the topic at hand and that is reality and motherhood with miss nika baby i don't know who calling you miss nika but um yeah, your kids don't even call, they don't even say ma'am to you, let alone somebody calling you Miss Nika, but okay. N-T-Y. Let me share my screen. And let's get into it. Yo, I've been just kind of sitting back watching the shit show that go on on these videos. And yo, stuff is not getting no better. Things are getting worse. And I'm going to tell y'all this, first and foremost. This ain't no channel to bash her because I could care less about bashing her. I don't, I don't, I don't get no enjoyment out of bashing her. What my concern is, is these children. These children are always being put last these children are always left at home. These children always coming out the house looking like ragamuffins. These children always have shoes that are on the wrong feet, uh, clothes that are too big, not to mention that they go to school with dirty clothes because the laundry is always overstuffed. Like, it's just ridiculous. I don't know what is going on with cps and sumter but they need to get their ish together real talk because i'm sorry this is a mom that don't need to have her children everything has been about her 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 now everybody knows that kira has a big old cavity between her teeth it i don't even know if it's one or two that's right there but all i know it's a big hole in between her teeth and not to mention that she has multiple teeth in the back that are that have cavities and she does not take these children to the doctor she barely takes side side to the doctor when she's sick that baby pulled on her ear for months months and when she did decide to take this baby to the doctor, her eardrum had bust. And that's just medical neglect. That's just ridiculous. How can you call yourself a mother, but yet you can get on this YouTube and on TikTok and talk about how much you love your kids? No, what you show is you love yourself and Naya 
more than you love the rest of those children. Let me tell you something. First and foremost, if there were some allegations against my oldest son for doing anything inappropriate with his siblings, baby, he got to go. Heck no. That's what mothers do. We protect our children, regardless on if it's friends, family, siblings, whatever the case may be. And this breeder, she don't protect her children. So I ain't going back to all them videos that I did not uh, react on because it's a it's a waste of time uh, because she gives the same thing every video. If it's not going to get Little Caesar's Pizza, it's all about going to the washeteria. Like, girl, we don't want to see you wash them them nasty clothes. Or she riding up and down the street and we watching the sky. That's not entertainment, bro. That's not content. I don't know what you're doing. And let's not forget, she don't want to got these doggone dentures put in her mouth and can barely eat. Baby, I ain't never, ever in my life seen a person that had a hard time eating Cheetos, cheese puffs. Not the Cheetos, the cheese puffs. Everybody know cheese puffs melt in your mouth. But, yeah, I guess. But she could take her little raggedy self down to the bingo hall and play bingo. So who at home with the kid? It show like Naya because Naya right at the bingo hall with her. So who else? Leah? Kaya, HJ, watching all the little ones, and Taekwon. Hmm. Couldn't be me, baby. Not me at all. But anyway, before I get started with this video, I do want to give a shout out to one of my friends. I will not say her name because she's going through a lot right now. My condolences go out to her family and you are always in my prayers baby you know exactly who you are so if you need me you know how to contact me and i just want to say that i love you and you take all the time you need before you come back and do what you love to do best anyway so miss uh Miss Reality with a mother. What is it? Reality and motherhood with Miss Nika Child. Okay, where are we gonna start at? Cause I know that 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 um that Easter. Whoo, that Easter was rough. Them babies was in that car. I don't even want to watch the video because I can't stand and hear that baby side cry. We all know there's some de developmental issues that's going on with Sai. She will she refuses to take Sai to the doctor to get these things checked out. But hey, what can we do but keep making these videos, you know, to advocate towards those innocent babies. Those babies don't deserve the things that they're enduring with their neglectful mom but anyway um let's see where we're gonna start at hmm. i want to start right here when she want to talk about the reactive now as you can see i'm not i'm not sure who the lady is in the middle i don't know who she is but she got la la picture up here and she got adrian's picture up here and baby she let's just watch the video because she she got her nerve her nerve come on let's watch this i might have to rewind it no People here we go fun, i'm supposed to be like i'm subscribed trying to get you to post a video you know post a video never knowing we're doing doordash we have different places you have to go to different locations and it could be very dangerous but at the same time i'm doing it for the sake of my children enjoy the vlog Hey boogies, welcome back to the vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
Turn on the notification bell. Let me sneak up on some video. Anyway, I'm um first of all, I'ma just put it on out there. Yo, I'm 43 years old. This is a 40-year-old woman talking about some damn ow. That's not cute. Why haven't anyone told her that's not cute? You are not a child. Come on, girl. Get your life together. I will handle some business. Like I said, on the first video, the kids are still sleeping. Thank God, because they stay up all night. You know, it's still their spring break. It was, this is their last week of freedom. They go back to school next Monday. I'm so glad. Um, the next 43 days, they'll be out for the summer break. So while they're sleeping, I'm out handling business. There's no reason why I need to be sleeping in bed right now. You out handling business, but who at home with your kids? Answer that. Who is at home with your children? You just don't care about them kids. You stay running up and down the road. You know what? I was watching a few videos, and I'm going to get back to the video. But I, I do want to say this. I was watching a few videos, and I noticed that Nika shops for the bare minimal. And when she shopped, She's shopping at Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, all them kind of little stores. Instead of using her food stamps to go and, you know, buy in bulk, you have a big family. I think personally, and this is just my opinion, that she shops small like that because it gives her somewhere to go every single day. It ain't no way. You have to rip and run up and down the street to take care of business nowadays with the internet. Everybody have a smartphone. You could pay your bills over your smartphone if you don't have a computer. This woman has to drive this bucket, this leaking bucket of hers every single day just to get out of the house away from her children. I say, if you don't want to be around your children, then why did you have them? I say, if you don't want to be around your kids, won't you give them to somebody that want kids? It's so many people in the world that wish they could have carried a child and delivered their own child but that's just not the case and someone would love to have these beautiful children that she's neglecting it's just weird to me but let's move on i'm not pregnant i'm not sick i'm not going and going through anything even when i go through depression i go through anxiety or anything of that nature I tend to lay down for a little bit and pout it out because I had a real bad attitude earlier, y'all. Let me tell you, I got up and, um, with Naya to get it ready. It was a little warm, hot, like hot. The house was a little warm too as well, I guess because I cooked last night in the oven. brings a lot of heat. It draws a lot of heat, so I had to try to cool the house back off last night um, with the AC and the um, humidifier and all that stuff that I had on in there, like the little AC thing, uh, whatever. So I was kind of hot when I got up. Not too and another thing I've noticed, she don't try to do better for her and her kids. This is this is ridiculous. Like, why are y'all always living in trap houses? Like, y'all live in the worst, worst of neighborhoods and run down houses or run down trailers. Like, you don't try to do no better for yourself. How about you are you are more than able-bodied to get up and get a job and make a better life for your children? But nah, you rather lay... Uh, <laughs> let me rephrase that. Not lay, but sit on your ASS in a car and let the taxpayers pay for your children and yourself. Ridiculous. 
could have worked. I was kind of agitated. I did get me a Powerade from the gas station this morning instead of a coffee because it was too hot for me to drink a coffee um, this morning. The weather is great. It was raining when I got up this morning. Um, it's still a little bit drizzling now while I'm out, but I'm taking a long drive to go handle what I need to handle. But at the same time, thinking about a lot of things that um, a lot of these females here on YouTube. Um, here we go. Actors just Girl, don't nobody care about your disclaimer? First of all, that ain't no real disclaimer. Because if somebody wanted to strike this channel, they can strike it. You don't even know where to find a real a real fair use disclaimer at. You, you sat here and typed out uh, your so-called disclaimer. You, um, chat, look. Let me get off that because, see, I've been to call her every name in the book but the child of God. So I'm going to leave that out of there because this video ain't got nothing to do with her. This got a lot to do with how she treat her kids. read this hold on we are not having copyright of the clips used here all the copyright belongs to respect creators only this video is not to hurt anyone and it's purely for fair girl it is so easy to go on google and get you a fair use warning what the hell is this? Ah, whatever. Reactors just have nothing to do with just a lot of gag and just bring Nika's name down. I went on a Lala's um Reactors have nothing to do, but what? Let's run that back bring Nika's name down. I wouldn't I know. have nothing to do with just lollygagger and just bring Nika's What is a lollygagger? You mean lollygag? Mama, you need to go back to school. Name down. I went on a Lala's um, a page and looked at one of her videos um, when she recently just posted my mouth or whatever. Um, she had a picture of me up there and she just was talking negative and I seen a post on her page about um, Hayward putting someone up there about the kids or something like that. I seen that. So I addressed. No, exactly what Lala did was tell the truth about you and you just couldn't take it. Nika, you the one got on this internet on Beyonce's internet at set. And told everybody you was going to get some implants. And baby, we all know those are dentures in the front of your mouth. Honey, you get up here and lie. You get up here and tell your business. So if you wouldn't get up here and say anything about yourself, we wouldn't know nothing about you. You got up here and released the recordings that was recording inside of your house and you was abusing your child. You got up here and put out the videos of the inside of your house, nasty and disgusting, while you got all those kids in there. We didn't do that. Child. Tell them about it and um, we had a talk. I said, Did you put that out there like that or your girlfriend? I know your wife wouldn't do that. Lies. Here we go. I don't know what you're talking about. So obviously, you don't know what post I'm talking about. Lies. Lies. Haywood was, if anybody seen any of Adrian's videos, if anybody seen any of T with She videos, if anybody seen any videos of, um, of Lala's, you would have seen. Hold on, y'all. Child, my Google just started playing something. I don't know what that was. Anyway, excuse my Google. 
she a little cray cray anyway if you look at any of those videos Haywood was more than willing to talk girl don't lie to try to make yourself look good as if hey you and Haywood on good terms Haywood don't want nothing to do with you ain't want nothing to do with you and that's why he don't claim number one of your children and that's all he gonna claim um but i did see on the page where they had his name up there his face and all the writing up there about the kids but at the same time the internet can be very tricky and dangerous at the same time i'm not gonna go out here and bring up nobody's name or talk about anybody all i know is if you didn't do it if she didn't do it whoever didn't do it who did it who did respect boundaries when it comes down to my children like literally my kids does watch my channel they does be on but nika you don't respect the boundaries of your kids you get on here and you tell all your kids business you try to humiliate your kids you sat here and got on here and told a story about about leah was trying to sneak a boy in the house then you said you turn around and said leah was trying to sneak out outside the house with a boy and then you talking about you you came across her phone talking about she want to have a baby I, I really, really doubt that. And that's just my opinion. Because all Leah do is take care of your baby. YouTube, and they do type me Shanika Grant. And when my name pops up, they get on the video. Like Leah, she saw Lala talk about me that time. She's like, Mama, I mean, I don't know. Believe that I don't believe that. Out. It don't make no sense because that's disrespectful for them to be talking about you like that. Now she's talking about my dad. So you mean to tell me it's okay for your child to come to you and say, oh, I should cuss her out. Girl, first of all, you, <laughs> the way you treat Leah, if Leah would ever come to you and say some stuff like that, girl, I believe you would probably snap her neck because you don't like that child. Point blank, period. You don't like that child. And I'm not the only one that see it. The reactors ain't the only one that see it. People that watch your videos see it. Even your bookies. And I was like, you can't, you can't pay these people no attention. Lala just somebody who's been on board, jealous and evil, ain't have nothing to do with her life. Okay, so why is Lala uh, evil, miserable, jealous? Jealous of what? Shanika, you don't have nothing to be jealous. Of. This is what kills me with these people on YouTube. The, the first thing they love to say is somebody is jealous of them or want to be them. Baby, let me tell you something. Nobody wants to be you. Nobody don't want no rust bucket ass car that's leaking all everywhere you go. Don't nobody want 10, 11 kids running around their house with no disrespect. Don't nobody want to be a mother that neglects their children, not just neglect, but give their children medical neglect. See this? <laughs> she kicked me off, I promise. And she just want to bring somebody else down. At the same time, she likes me too. And she mm -hmm. just feel like ain't no other way she can come through to me but talk negative and talk down about me. Because she see, you know, how I'm, how I'm doing on my on my YouTube channel. Girl, like, please. Literally, this lady just, her and this other lady, that, drew, that, that, that lady is a retarded as fuck. Like, first of all, <laughs> what you not about to do. First of all, get her name right. Her name is Adrian, not Andrea, with your slow self. And you talking about somebody look retarded as if. Girl, have you and Naya looked in the mirror? Neither one of y'all can spell. Y'all both with them long ass heads. You ain't got no, no, no teeth in your mouth. All your teeth rotten except for the dentures in the top of your mouth. And you gonna call somebody ugly? Baby, take a look in the mirror. You think you look good? You think you fine? 
You think now you're fine walking around with a scarf around that that sea moss that's on top of her head look like a bunch of cats hiding on top of her head in that weed. Girl, you got your nerve. What you not going to do? What you not going to do is talk about somebody else's looks. And you look like that garbage dump that you take your garbage to that your broke ass can't pay for somebody to come pick up. Like something wrong with her like she got Down syndrome. But she got Ooh. You talk you you say Adrian look like she got Down syndrome, baby. Baby, Nika. Sorry to tell you, but this is exactly why you can't get ahead. This is exactly why your daughter's sigh seems like something is wrong with her because you and Nika are sitting up on y'all high horses like y'all the queen of England or y'all some beauty queens and y'all don't look like ish. Any, anyway. Yeah, um, she go up there talk about me too. Girl, welcome to Nika's life. Nika's busy life in 10 editions. Welcome to Nika's busy life in 10 edition. Welcome to Nika's life, reality and motherhood. Welcome to Nika and the crew. I don't know how many times I'm gonna change my channel name, try to get people from, you know, finding me because of all these negative shit that was out on the internet. But at the same time, yo, let them haters be your motivation. Let them haters talk. Let them say what they want to say. Let them do what they want to do. At the same time, I got some. But the problem is, you dodo bird, is that you keep putting Nika in your titles. <laughs> you don't think people can figure out who you are? Nika and Ten Edition. Reality and motherhood was Miss Nika. Come on, girl. You don't have no type of imagination. You don't have no no extensive vocabulary <laughs> on even thinking of a name for yourself, Miss Independent Nika. Like, come on. You are a joke, bro. You a joke. You are a joke. Joke, jokey joke. Five, like they gotta survive, and that's the main reason why I said I don't put my kids on camera like that. Yesterday, we were sitting in the car before I cooked dinner. Everybody was a little agitated because they was hungry. I put in the caption "hungry kids" because my kids was hungry yesterday. Right after they ate that little snack, I went in the kitchen. I fixed some hot food for them to eat. They tore that food down. Today, I'm gonna do spaghetti. Nigga, stop lying. That was Stofa's lasagna. And you got on this, you got on Beyonce's internet and told everybody your kids don't eat lasagna. That's exactly why you don't fix it. Girl, shut up. This all you lie. Every word come out your mouth ain't nothing but a lie. Just shit up. Yes, I have two pounds of meat out for today. Um, I'm gonna do that because they love spaghetti. So Wait, two pounds of meat? Well, I'ma say you got ten kids, baby. But I'ma say I'ma exalt the two older ones. Two pounds of meat for nine people because you best believe you gonna get you a big bowl of spaghetti. Oh, excuse me, you don't eat out of bowls right now. You're eating out of cups. Right, right, right. Mm. Nika. <laughs> You are ridiculous. If it ain't for the bookies, you wouldn't be where you at right now. Baby, ain't nobody jealous of you. Don't nobody want your life. Trust and believe. People people got other things that they're doing that's better than running up and down the street, going to Family Dollar, buying their children buku loads of candy and chips and juice as a snack and Lil Caesar's pizza every day. Oh, this woman. Well, I am gonna go in the kitchen to cook dinner today, so that's gonna be a separate video. But I'm trying to get back into doing my channel more and even more and more videos. There's a lot of people like, we need more content. 
well they were saying new contents besides the same contents like but the baby can't get no more content than this because she she wrote the the uh i ain't gonna even say the magic school but she just rode the, the little short bus i wouldn't be surprised if this helper had a helmet on her head on that little short bus because she is dumber than a box of rocks and she done brought her 20 year old daughter into this world and as an adult she's another one that's dumber than a box of rocks let we ain't gonna even speak on taekwon you know talking to driving in my car library uh laundry and library library not library what's a library trying but when it comes down to my kids everybody just be negative towards them no negative towards you, you. Know, i had these kids not them but when the internet goes around and talks about my kids father about he's a dead beat he just the third block hey what is a dead beat hey what is a dead beat when do you see hayward come around and get his kids never when do you all you ever complain about is that hey we don't give you no money for leah because you know what you only put him on child support leah but then you want to go around talking about some haywood is the father of eight of your kids i don't believe it my opinion only i don't believe it because if Haywood was the was the father of eight kids why you only put one on child support hey he could be the father of them but do he you do you see him claiming children no at all no no because we know you a 304 we know you've been a 304 that's exactly why you was a mistress you was a side piece you were never his main be that's exactly why he got married on you with another woman who cares if i ever got another girlfriend and a wife that's they business going on over there you always want to bring up the fact that you you was the number one you had the ring first you had the children first baby that don't mean a hill of beans if he chose somebody else I understand how they may feel about certain things because certain things that I may say it about him in the past when I was on TikTok or wherever else I've been, um, you know, about him getting married on me, how he treated me and how he done things to hurt me, you know, throughout our relationship and, and not even- Here we go. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time I think about the time he went to court with this girl and showed, I mean, well, she was supposed to come to court, but he showed up like, like you ain't just been in my bed. Like you ain't just been around me. Like you ain't just been, loving on me kissing on me and been around me and you, you at court with this female like because he don't like, love you like, don't have to think about like oh. nika have you have you not thought about but you know it's hard for her to think anyway so have you not thought about that you was just the f for him you was just a lay bro you wasn't nothing more than that you gave him a free spot to to do his dirt at because we all know that your apartment got raided you was a you was a free spot to do his dirt at you was a free elf and that's all you wasn't nothing else to him that man ain't never love you that man ain't never want you and that man damn sure didn't want them children all the times you been with me laying up in my bed all the times we was doing what we do, but nobody know what we was doing. Not even the internet know what we was doing. That's not their fucking business. And at the same time, it's been a while since me and him would have ever link up or been together sexually like that. Hey, I want so you. I had to address that out here to the world today. Like y'all just act like y'all know everything about our relationship when y'all don't. And personally, honestly, any woman that he comes across that he deals with, you think he gonna let Nika go? He ain't gonna never let me go. I'm never gonna go nowhere. I'm gonna always be right here, regardless of the internet fame, regardless of what anybody may think. Me, what nika you are really in denial that man don't want you he ain't gonna never let nika go girl you know what this is this is the definition of a low self-esteem female she will take anything 
off of this bug guy bifocal wearing man that looked like a frog just to say she got somebody in her bed girl so you mean to tell me you you was cool with sharon hayward with all these different women you are really crazy bruh you really you are really crazy anybody may say anybody may do or whatever that nature i don't care what nobody may do i'm gonna always be number one in his life i'm gonna always be baby mama number, mm, one. number one in his life. his life he can say that he you're number one in his life, but he does nothing for you or your children. Don't seem like you number one to me. Seems like the wife is number one and, and the girlfriend number two or, or either the girlfriend number one and the wife number two. You ain't nowhere in the equation. Child, I, the delusion is really real. Mm -mm -mm. I want to say to y'all on the internet and talk down about me or whatever of that nature. I don't even give a, I don't care. Because I, I got feelings like you got feelings at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's coming from the horse's mouth itself. I mean, I love Hayward. I'm not in love with him. Yeah, you are. We're really not having any courses at this time of our life. It's been a while since we did anything. We not having intercourses. Isn't it intercourse? <laughs> What the in the courses? Nigga. To be 40 years old, bro. I swear you are like a you are you act younger than Naya. But at the same time when we were messing around to anybody know. No, because I mean like who needs to know when we mess around? Because you was a mistress. You know? Where he's at or what he's doing that's his business his problem his priorities i mean that man got more than one, one woman i mean he ain't got me but you know, he got more than one woman i know he just you know lingering around with two other two women that i know that he's dealing with come on now i've been with this man way before he's been able well, first of all i've been with this man during the time mm -hmm. 2009 i met him and he wasn't with nobody Nika, if you gonna be that naive to think that Hayward wasn't with nobody when he met you, you you are really, really dumb. Hayward has always had somebody. You are not his first, and you damn sure ain't gonna be his last. Girl, what did you eat you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for laughing, y'all, but this it's caught this is a comedy stop for me this is crazy i have never seen a person that is so much in denial about everything in their lives in my life i have never seen this but hey i guess it happens he was doing his dog stuff like being a dog like he was being a man a dog he has multiple females he had multiple cars and all kinds of stuff money they were had it all coming up when we was when we was together in 2009. then when i found out i was pregnant in 2010 when he was doing a lot of things changed but at the same time so hey what had it all while he was with you so you mean to tell me you made this man a better man don't seem like it to me because both of y'all went to jail when they kicked your dough down didn't oh okay it will always be that kind of man to to win to win women into his life and that ain't changing because he's a he's a loving man he might look like he's bombing on the internet all these pictures that y'all pulling up that's not the hate that i know it's not the hate that I will ever, ever know. This man always had the things that he wanted. He always had the things that no other man probably could have. But he choose. He had all the things no other man could probably have. But yet, uh, he was working at the Waffle House for how long? Oh, yes. That's a very, that's a six-figure job working at the Waffle House as a short cook, right? Get off of it, bro. You are the you are the most bottom feeder.
you get the lowest of the low man. You don't have no standards in men, even when it came down to your baby's fathers. Used to, you know, let his life go downhill because of all the things he's going through in his life situation. I can't change him. He can't change himself. I try to change him. He don't want change. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm doing whatever I, I'm doing to make sure I protect me, my children, and the people that I love around me. And I'm going to leave it like that because I don't want to sit up here and have no animosity against nobody on what I say out of my mouth because what you put out there on the internet, they will repost it and say something dumb or say something negative about something that you didn't even put in your own mouth to say. And like I said, I Nika, everything that people say about you comes out of your own mouth. Everything people say about you come out of your own mouth. Everything that, that we've seen on the internet about you and your children has come from you, not nobody else. I love him. I'm not in love with him. Yes, we have children. Um, eight. Yes, I did a lot about... Uh, not the father of the last two to keep the conflict down but at this point of our life um both of the females should honestly know that Edward and I were still messing around and yes the last two kids are his Lena and Saeed and they all have his last name so I mean ain't nothing I can do to change none of the things that done happen because of the fact that I am I was still in love with a man that scarred me after being in a relationship with him for the last nine and a half years so I mean Nigga, do you not understand how stupid you look? You look like stupid, bruh. <laughs> you sat here and, oh, it, it's not my fault. I was in love with a man for the last nine years. Girl, that man been cheating on you. He was cheating when he met you. He already had a woman prior to you. Like at the end of the day, nobody can't make no woman change their mind because of the fact that a man got married on her while they were together. That shit hurts. I mean, love hurts. Pain is pain. Love dies. But at the same time, you gotta heal from your situation. You can't sit up here and be like, oh well, a skip and a hop and a walk through a park and a fucking sip of tea. No, you can't do that. You gotta heal first. And if nobody never walk a mile in your motherfucking shoe and know exactly what you've been through or how you going through, then how can they relate? They can't. So, I mean, of course they're going to talk crap. But at the same time, I know who I was in love with. I Nika, the reason why people can't relate because ain't not one same one going to go to the extent you have went with a nothing amen. That is a nothing amen, period. And you went the farthest with him. Child, I'm sorry to tell you, if you can't accept the fact that the man didn't want you, who can, who, what can people say? I know who I was with before the internet fame. I know what we had going on. I know how we had it going on. I know how he heard me. I know how he got married on me because I wasn't messing, I wasn't messing with a married man. I was still in love with that man. Of course, I was going to still be laying with that man if I knew that when he got married behind my back. I loved him. I wanted to be with him. I wanted to make things work. But at the same time, he made a decision in his life that he wanted to get married. He left the wife with his girlfriend for the last four, five, well, maybe about six years now. Nika, it's loved, not loved it. Love bug. It's not loved it. Love. Baby, we know you don't have education, but we swear to say you graduated college. Baby, let me tell you something. Let me let me tell you all something. You say you graduated college with medical coding and billing. Medi medical coding and billing is no type of associate's degree. It's no type of um, bachelor's degree. Hold on here. I'm sorry. I was doing something in my kitchen. Excuse me, because I do get in my kitchen and cook for my children. Unlike Miss Independent Nika that be running the streets buying little Caesar's pizza. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But uh yeah, it ain't no such word as love that oh Lord, I done hold on give me a minute. I done clicked off the video. Let me get back to it. Hold up. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm up here multitasking up in here. 
So I mean, it still had babies on this girl. The same thing he did. He doing it. He did it to her. So I mean, what's the damn difference? And everybody that they know everything about our life when they don't know. Like literally, the things he did to me, he did it to her. He literally had four babies on this fucking girl. You know? Two for me, two from the wife. So what the fuck does it matter that everybody going around dragging me around the internet saying something about what I got going on or what? Because you're neglectful to your children, Nika. It don't have nothing to do with who and how many babies he had with whoever. The point of the matter is, are those women on the internet showing that they're neglecting their kids? No, you are. What I'm doing, what am I doing? With the same thing he did to me, doing it to her. So I mean, like at the end of the day, I let go old baggages and she take on the old baggage and she get the same thing that I got. I mean, she's willing to stay. That's her problem. I got nothing to do with nobody's relationship. That's what I try to tell people. I'm not going to do with nobody's relationship, but that's what they want to do. And that's what where they want to be. That's where they're hard at. That's them. I mean, because when you love a man, you love a man. You ain't going to stop loving somebody because of the fact he has a baby on you or he's married or whatever. I mean, if you want to be the significant other or you want to be, you know, the other. Baby, I don't know about her, but not me. Not I. I'm not. Not me. I'm not gonna be with no man that done had a baby on me. You crazy? You act like that's normal. That's cool. No ma'am. You don't have to accept that. But that's what happens when women themselves have low self-esteem. They accept anything just to say they have a man. Woman, or you want to be a doormat, then that's on you. But at the same time, I've been with that man. I know what that man is about. I know what that man is capable of doing. But I'm not gonna let no man keep constantly keep having babies on me and then thinking it's okay. We argued about the first baby for so long. The second baby came in. I was like, man, fuck it. When he walked out and got married, sometimes I feel like when that door closed, leave that door closed and don't open it back up. So when I try to reopen that door, I had more drama. I'm sorry, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't believe it. I don't believe Nika uh, left him. I believe Hayward left her and he didn't want to be with her no more. Well, how, how all of a sudden you made the decision to leave him, but yet um, he went and got married on you. It makes no sense. Make it make sense now. Make it make sense in my life than anything I had. So much pain in my life, even worse than what it was when we were together. So I'm not gonna leave it at that. I'm giving you the tea on my own, like telling y'all on my own, I'm giving y'all the tea. Now I hold a, I hold a lot within this heart and this body of mine and my mind that people don't really understand that I have to get out and take a long ass drive sometimes and think about everything that I go through in my life from my children, from myself, from social media, family, friends, and loved ones. I go through a lot, you know, every day of my life and I take that burden sometimes and I bury it and I leave it there and I put a smile on my face and still smile through my pain. And I also still cry when I'm hurting you know, when I'm going through something because that eases in my mind. You know, I can't have everything build up on my chest to where I have a heart attack and die and my kids don't have a mother. I want to live as long as God said I can live here on this earth. Nika, you're here, you're living, you're breathing, and you're still not a mother. So what's your excuse? What are you talking about? Your kids don't be around you now. Regardless of what somebody might think about me in this life or in this world that we live in, regardless of how people may feel, I'm one of the lovest person in the world. I'm humble, I'm calm, I'm cool, and I'm collected. I don't have time for the drama. But at the same time, when it's time to address things like this that needs to be addressed, then I'm going to address it because... What else to address when a person just got nothing to do with their time? They want to be a content creator, but bring down other people. And that's your own fucking color at that. Like, I Girl, if you don't stop bringing color in it, it ain't got nothing to do with color. It got something to do with the fact that you neglect your kids. It doesn't matter if you black, white, Asian, Latino, whoever. You could be purple, green, black. You could, you could be any color. If you neglectful to your kids, you neglectful to your children. Period, point blank. I got nothing, I got nothing else to say. So I hope you guys continue to join the vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn around the notification when we post a video. You know when we post a video. Oh. 
And this is only for internet purposes only. And I will make sure I put my disclosure in my video so nobody won't take it and run with it because at the end of the day, I spoke up and I spoke well when I said what I had to say about my relationship, my kids. You spoke well? Girl. No, you didn't. You spoke up and I spoke well. Girl. I showed up and I showed up. Is my life social media and internet trolls? Okay, see so y'all guys later, later, later. Peace to the Middle East. Let y'all see the rolls and we're gonna end it on. And that's why in this video yeah i got a i got a short one for y'all today y'all but i'll be back i'm gonna try to do a live later on tonight um if i don't come with a live today i will come with a live tomorrow so i'll see y'all in the next one bye y'all Little <laughs> <laughs>